Welcome to Jay Brad's Way of the Hunter. In today's session, I'm going to be going over the new uh, tripod stands that have been released with the Matariki expansion. So I've hunted with them just to kind of gain some uh, insight of where I'm going to use them and kind of how they work. But let's kind of get into it. Uh, there's two different stands that you can get. So we're going to head over to our storage and check them out. So in the shop, under gear, we have the Ant Oiler Big Brother and the Ant Oiler Giraffe. So you can see there's three different um, characteristics at the bottom. You got medium, 360 degree field of view, medium noise. So elevation and noise. Um, the giraffe has high and low noise. So for whatever reason, I think I'm probably only ever going to use this giraffe stand unless I need to have, for whatever reason, a lower field of view. All right, so I have both those equipped. So let's run out and see if we can't set up on something and see how well they work. All right, folks. So first things first, I'm going to set up both of these stands here. This is the giraffe, and I'm going to try to put them in the same position. So we can kind of judge them equally. All right, this is the big brother. And that's what I was afraid of. It's not going to let me put them too close together. So let me see if I can do this here. And I'm at the shooting range because it gives me a consistent kind of distance that we can reference to. Alright, so I can't test them up both at the same time, but we'll start with the giraffe. So you place them down, pretty easy. As you can see that they both have two different noise levels. The giraffe is low. So I have the wind uh, straight at my back here. There's a 50 yard, 100 yard, 150 and 200, so on target. So this gives me a pretty nice, tall field of view. If there's any bushes, you know, I can probably see over them uh, pretty decently, you know, out to about 50 yards, and then your line of sight is going to limit you. But here's the interesting thing. Let's zoom in. We can see this is my scent cone here. So I'm just going to put my cursor right with the scent in the middle and place a marker. So we can see 36.5 feet per second wind at my back. It's casting my scent roughly, roughly 50 yards. So you're thinking, that's not that great. But what happens if we get down? So I've stepped down from my sand going to wait a second for my scent to be dispersed. Go back into the menu. Or the map, rather. And we can see my scent is really being cast downrange. So I'm going to go back in just for another time just to make sure that I'm getting the full distance out of that. So it looks like it's still being carried. Okay. All right, I don't think we're getting any bigger here. So again, going to place a marker down at the edge of my scent cone. And we can see that that is a huge difference. 50 yards versus 170 yards. So that's a pretty big advantage considering you can easily kill anything within 50 yards with any of the weapons in this game. Um, 
if you use if you don't use the hunter sense it makes things a little bit more challenging but just to kind of put that in perspective to you guys I have the buffed in apex predator crossbow here there's a 150 yard target You can see I just hit the top of the target down there. So even with a bow that you can shoot extremely far with, the tripod stand is a huge, huge, huge advantage. So we can see scent cones back down here. So pretty big difference. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up our other stand. And we can get rid of this one just by going in the map. Take it down. But I'm going to throw up our other stand. Place it roughly in the same position. Make sure I have the right one out here. Have the big brother. Put it down. We'll climb up. So I can't really notice a difference out of hopping down as far as the height goes. But we'll see what the scent cone does. So we can see that scent is still there lingering. So I would be willing to bet, since this stand is a little bit lower to the ground, that it might cast a little bit um, farther. But I don't know what kind of mechanics they're, they're, they're putting into this. So we'll give it a second and see where our new scent cone is comparative to the giraffe. Alright, so it looks like this one actually may be a little bit shorter. So we know that uh, 50 yards was the old marker. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And just kind of see where this one creeps up to. Give it a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to try to do my best to get this in the center and then mark it. All right, so that actually looks like it's about 10 yards short of our other one. So that's that's kind of handy to know. I thought it would have been the opposite. It would have been a little bit longer, but that's pretty cool. All right, so there's that information for you guys. So now let's see how good they do in a real-world hunting application. So I know I've got a herd of mule deer that uh, are drinking close by. They they drink at 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to see how close you can be to this herd of deer before putting up the stand potentially spooks them. So we're going to have a little bit of a real world hunting uh, element in this. So you can kind of spot and stalk something need to close that distance a little bit and then throw your stand up. How close can you get before you actually spook those animals? And ultimately, you know, as I've just shown, that even if you're hunting with a crossbow, if you can get inside you can get up to 125 yards away, I think most people in this game would be comfortable taking pretty much any game with any weapon other than maybe a bow. So, I've got the wind in my face. I'm not really sure if 
if the wind helps carry the sound. Uh, more or less, but I, I would think it would. So this is pretty much optimal for sneaking up on some game. So I'm not really... I don't really have any really good cover concealment here. But I do have this little depression I'm in. But I think what I'm going to do... Kind of ease up here. I can hear them. They're 140 yards out. 160 yards out. So I've got a buck, 161. I think I'm going to go right up to that bush right there at the road. And I'm going to throw up one of these stands. I'm going to throw up the old giraffe. Climb up. Okay. So I didn't spook him. I'm a hundred yards out. That's pretty awesome. Granted, I do have a full-on headwind into me here. So let's try the other stand. Go ahead and take this one down. Pull out the big brother. Again, this one deploys with a medium noise. So still. Didn't spook him. 100 yards out. Alright, so the next question is how close can I get to these guys before I spook them deploying a stand? So I know, like I said, I keep going back to this. Go to gear. We have medium noise installation, low noise installation. So what I'm going to do, just for reference, I'm going to put a marker down. I'm going to see if I can crawl up about 10 yards. So I'm going to close the gap to 100. That'll get me 10 yards closer than I was before. And I'm going to throw up this big brother. Uh, stand and see if that spooks these deer off. I'm going to try to repeat this process until I spook the deer. So bear with me up until that point. Alright. Got the big brother stand. Throwing it up. Going up. Again, they moved a little bit away from me, but they're still looking good. Crouch back down. Collapse that stand. Gonna try to get to 90 yards. to the stand. Climb up. We're now 10 yards closer. We still haven't spooked our animals. Alright, I'm 
gonna try to just stay crouched because it looks like they are heading away from us. Closer. Alright, I'm getting some looks now. So that definitely alerted them. So I'm about 75 yards away. And, you know, they're definitely curious as to what's going on here. So I would say that since they're alerted, that is a pretty good chance that you're not going to get much closer than 75 yards without spooking these animals. So again, I'm using the medium stand with medium noise on the setup. The big brother. It off, uh, another thing is uh, these offer improved accuracy. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is pretty much case closed for me. 75 yards, sneak up, throw your stand up, give you a huge elevation um, advantage on your animals. Reduce that scent being cast by pretty much two thirds to give you pretty good advantage. So the next thing I want to consider is reading that paragraph is that they offer improved accuracy. So, a simple yet comfortable tripod stand that gives you a full view of your surroundings at an optimal elevation. Animals will have a much harder time noticing you and you will deliver shots with a significant improved precision. Alright, so I happen to have my star mono block here. And this is going to be from standing position all the way zoomed in. Go ahead and turn my hunter sense on so you guys can see my reference dot there. I'm going to do a breath hold and we'll see if we can have what, uh, what size our shot circle is. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, so we see we have quite a bit of sway here. Alright, so we can see, looks like my precision dot is just a little bit, smaller than that white circle of the bullseye. We can see how much I'm swaying around naturally. So I'm going to throw up my giraffe, hop in, and we'll see what, or see rather how much my accuracy is improved. So I'm not moving my crosshair, I'm just letting it go on the normal motion. I'd say that's a pretty big, pretty significant improvement. Okay, so it doesn't look like it really improves the potential area for our bullet to get into very much. But let's just go ahead and take a shot here and see what we can get a good bullseye mark. So I would call that pretty much a bullseye. Alright, I'm going to hop down again. Just standing position. So we have quite a bit of sway. I'm going to drop back down to the kneeling. Pretty big sway. Go down to prone. Alright, so I'm moving about half an MOA if this was to be an MOA scope as far as those ticks go. So 
So I would say that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get another bullseye hit here. Alright. So I'm going to go compare that again. Climb up this thing. See what kind of movement we're getting. So we got about one and a half movement. So I'm going to say this is pretty much comparable to a being a probably crouched. So we'll get right on it. So it's actually a little bit better than being crouched, but not as good as being prone. And I'll take that. So folks, overall there you have it. That's my thoughts on the new stands. You can see them here. The Antoiler, Big Brother, Antoiler, the Giraffe. You got medium elevation, medium noise high elevation, low noise. We are able to get to about 75 yards on those that herdy mule deer before we spooked them. And uh, you can go into your map and take down your stand so if you have them placed out everywhere you can just take them down. And it looks like you can have 10 stands set up per each one. So I would say that's pretty cool. But uh, that's closing up for today's session. Uh, you have my thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe uh, for more content like this. And feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions. Uh, and as always, if you can't be good, be careful. Thanks for watching.